What is going on everyone, my name is Codemore and welcome back to Intro to Web Development Episode 2. In this episode, we're going to talk about the web browser, HTML, and URLs. So let's begin by talking about the web browser. Now you probably all know what the web browser does. You go on it and it will display websites to you. Well, that's completely correct. But in slightly more technical terms, a web browser is used to retrieve and display data. And most often, this data is a website. So your web browser is responsible for going out on the internet and finding a website. It's responsible for grabbing that website file and bringing it back to your computer and then display that to you. So your web browser is going to find and retrieve a file for you and display it to you. Now when I say website, I'm really talking about HTML code. Now HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, in case you were curious. And HTML is the core part, it is the essential part of every single website. Now websites are made up of multiple programming languages and multiple things, but every single website has at least a tiny bit of HTML code in it. It is the main part of every site. So HTML is the code that we write to create websites. Now the current version, the latest version of HTML at the time of this video is HTML5, and that's what we're going to be using in this tutorial series there's really no need to go back to an older version of HTML. So HTML5 is what we're going to be using, and if you've updated your browser, it'll definitely support HTML5. All right, so HTML is the code we write to create websites. Now we have one final thing to talk about in this episode. We're going to talk about a URL. Now a URL stands for a Uniform Resource Locator. You don't really need to know that, but it's essentially a fancy name for the location of a file. A URL tells the computer or rather a web browser in our case, it tells the web browser where to find a file. So it's essentially like a pathway to a file. Uh, and the URL you are typing in probably every time you use your web browser. If I open up mine here and I go to www.google.com, this right here is essentially a URL. This right here points to Google's main website file and it tells our web browser where to find Google's website. Then it'll get that file and display it to us. So our URL is what we type in at the top of our web browser up here, and it points to a file in technical terms. So we've just learned all about the web browser, HTML, and URLs. This should be a really simple video. In the next video, we are going to begin creating our very first website. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode.